In this video, I will explain to you the Batman protocol and show you how to install it on an OpenWRT base router. Batman stands for Better Approach to Mobile Ad Hoc Networking. This project was created by Freifunk, which is German for free radio. By design, Batman was developed to replace OLSR, Optimized State Link Routing. OLSR is a proactive protocol where all routes are known and maintained. Doing this causes a large overhead. With a Batman, you have a more of a democratic approach. It uses decentralization of knowledge where no single node has all the data. It routes by detecting other Batman nodes and using them to inform other nodes which it would be the best way to route the data. Batman Advance is reference to the version that it uses the layer 2 Ethernet layer instead of the network layer. Do, they created this due to the level of efficiencies. Uh, Batman Advance is also built into the Linux kernel. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it on a uh, OpenWRT. Right now I am uh, have my hyperterminal session up and I uh, already configured this um, router which I showed you in the last video but the only thing I have to change on it is the IP address so it doesn't conflict with the actual um, network that I have right now. My default gateway is 192.168.1.1 so I don't want to conflict with that. I gave it a basically a .6 address and then I have another um, one of these routers already pre-configured with all the uh, protocol information um, somewhere else in the house with uh, dot five for the address. To start you need to go ahead and get the package from the OpenWRT um, using the uh, OK or OPKG uh, install. You want to first update it if you've never updated it. This basically pulls down the uh, list of information from the uh, OpenWRT database telling you where all the packages are and what what's the list of all them and how to install them. And then now you want to go ahead and install the kernel module, kmod. So basically when you see anything on the OpenWRT packages that starts with kmod, it stands for kernel module uh, batman-advance ADV. This will go ahead and install it. With uh, Batman Advance, uh, uses the kernel, so it, it causes even less overhead due to that fact, since you have the lowest level to communicate to it, the hardware level. I will uh, go ahead and pull up this script. Um, basically, you could download this script from the uh, Open Mesh website, which is the uh, Batman Advance uh, website. Uh, the only thing I really change in it is like is the host name, my IP address, which is already in there as that address, but uh, it's part of the script. You could you, you could you could change all the settings if you want in it, and then uh, kind of pretty much the defaults. I'm using the uh, wireless G. Um, you could use wireless A channels if you want. Um, generally, if you're going to be using a uh, mesh network, it's generally best to have wireless A. Uh, due to the fact that not a whole lot of things use the 5.8 frequencies and uh, you have a lot more range on 5.8 uh, gigahertz for how many uh, how much of a channel width you have. With this you really have 1 through 11 for wireless uh, G in the US and uh, you kind of get a limitation of overlapping on that especially if you're doing a large deployment of a mesh network. But we'll just use the default for the script. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this over and paste it into the hyperterm. It'll basically just go ahead and pipe that through and configure the uh, Batman interfaces protocol and uh, all the uh, wireless interfaces so that they'll be able to communicate to each other properly. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the uh, router. Pretty much by default, uh, this script, you really don't need to change much on it. 
you just basically need to t tell the IP address and all that. Uh, you could create your own static variables, but once you create all those static variables, you really just for deployment change uh, this IP address or uh, the password, which you really don't need to change, uh, or uh, this. Uh, this script basically does two um, two radios for the Batman mesh, technically three, but the third one also has a, uh, a I think they call it a VAP. It's basically it has a capability of doing both um, an access point, a virtual access point, I think that's what it's called for, and then also a uh, um, part of the mesh protocol, so you can use it as a another interface for mesh routing. Going back to the hyperterm, you basically see it come up, uh, trying to pull up all the uh, Ethernet devices, the wireless devices, and uh, configure them for the Batman protocol so that they start reaching out to the uh, nearest neighbor. You go ahead and uh, log into the router so you can actually see what's going on with it through the uh, graphical user interface. Basically under uh, network and uh, Wi-Fi, you'll actually see these uh, connections uh, start populating down here and connecting, showing the signal quality of each. Uh, you can see the uh, signal. Um, I basically have two radios that are high-powered alpha uh, radios, and then one that's just, uh, basically uh, the standard CM9. Um, you can obviously see the a little bit of the signal difference between the two high-powered alphas and the other one. Um, but uh, that's basically it. Um, I'll, I'll I'll provide the link for the uh, open mesh for the script and. Um, so you can research more of it your own and understand a little bit better. Really, the best thing to do for uh, anything in life is give it a try, understand it better that way. Practice th versus theory.